Apple. Before ESL, we have homeroom. I don't much like it. In my homeroom are only three other ESL students, and I don't speak their words. The rest are from America. One morning, a folded paper waits on my homeroom desk. I think maybe it's a note to pass. I've seen other students hand paper to each other during the loud man in the wall named announcements. It's exciting to think I might already have a homeroom friend. When I open it, I see a picture. It's not a good drawing, but after a moment, I can see. It's a dead body made of bones. Hungry Kenya? A boy in the back asks. His voice has knives in it. He holds up a half-eaten apple. None for me, thank you, I say, using my polite English words. And my home, I add, is not Kenya. It's Sudan. He tosses the apple across the room. It lands on my desk and drops to the floor. My homeroom teacher looks up from his newspaper. Can the flying fruit, he says. Of course I don't want the apple to be wasted. I pick it up off the floor and throw it back to the boy. It hits him on the nose. I'm a fine thrower of rocks and balls. It's not my fault the boy moved. The teacher gives me a detention slip. I'm not sure what the slip means, but I do know I'm the only one in class who receives it. I am very lucky to be selected by my teacher for such a fine honor.